And getting a quick look now, a live view inside of the station. This is a view down the POISC module, um, also known as the mini research module number one. It's on the space-facing side of the Zvezda service module over on the Russian segment. And there you can see Scott Kelly on the right, Sergei Volkov in the middle, and Mikhail Konienko on the left. They're getting ready to climb into their Soyuz craft and close the hatches uh, in just a few minutes. Tim Peake there floating into view, the European astronaut. Um, he's going to be remaining on board for Expedition 47. Uh, you can see current Commander Tim Koper there in the middle, and uh, all the way on the left, uh, also in an Expedition 47 shirt, is Yuri Malenchenko. And the crew members continuing to set up inside the Poisk module for Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko, the two in the light blue shirts. Uh, they are again wrapping up their year-long mission on board the station, the two uh, in space for the last 340 days, uh, setting the record for the longest uh, flight on board the International Space Station, breaking the previous record of 215 days. For Scott Kelly, who's uh, on his fourth flight, he's going to end up totaling 520 days total uh, by the time of landing. Uh, Sergei Volkov, um, a veteran of three long-duration missions now, is going to have uh, 548 days in space. And uh, Mikhail Kornienko, who was on his second flight, will have totaled 516 days uh, once they land just a few hours from now. So again, continuing to set up in the Poisk module, the three... Uh, crew members there uh, getting ready to uh, move into their Soyuz craft shortly um, and begin uh, getting ready to close the hatches um, on both the uh, Soyuz craft itself and on the International Space Station. Uh, the, we are not getting any video feed, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. Shall we begin? Time doesn't wait. All right, Sergey, you can proceed. All right, guys, we are ready to close the transfer hatches. We wanted to say goodbye and thank you. I am bringing home today two wonderful crew members. Scott and Mikhail. So thank you so much to everyone for your support and for your work. Well, we've achieved a lot, especially for Scott and Mikhail. 
we are very grateful to this crew, to you, Misha, and to you, Scott. Also, thank you to the mission control centers in Moscow and in Houston. And good luck, guys. We'll see you soon on the ground. And some quick words from the Soyuz commander, Sergei Volkov, who's bringing the two one-year crew members home first. And then Yuri Malenchenko there on the left, just uh, also offering his congratulations and his thanks to uh, the three getting ready to depart the International Space Station. Again, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Korninenko uh, wrapping up 340 days on board the orbiting laboratory. For Sergei Volkov, 181. He's going to be commanding the Soyuz craft uh, through tonight's activities and the descent back down to Earth. But uh, definitely a uh, pretty significant moment for the departing year-long crew members who have been on board the International Space Station since March 27th of last year. So uh, obviously very big steps for them to now depart what's been their home for the last roughly 12 months and uh, get ready to make their way back down to Earth. It's gravity, their families, and uh, life uh, as it was over a year ago. And uh, once the hatches get closed, we'll stand by for the official hatch closure time and a location of the station. And again, there's two hatches to close. There's one on the Soyuz craft itself and one on the uh, station side as well, inside the Poisk module. Sergei Volkov doing one final wipe down of the uh, ceiling ring around the Soyuz hatch before he closes it. And with that, Yuri Malenchenko sealing it up. The hatch is closed. The visiting vehicle officer reporting seeing the telemetry. The hatch is closed at 3.43 p.m. Central Time, 4.43 p.m. Eastern, while the station was flying just about 252 statute miles to the north of Malaysia. So again, the hatch is now closed uh, between the Soyuz craft and the station itself. Um, so the Soyuz TMA-18M spacecraft uh, 